Here comes Sam to get the milk. One dairyman, one farm. Of the five million or more farms that supply this country with billions of pounds of milk each year. Billions of pounds. That's a lot of milk, but it isn't enough. We need more milk. Fresh. Evaporated and condensed. Dried. Milk for butter. Milk for cheese. Dairy products of all kinds to supply nutrition needs of United States civilians, United States servicemen, and our allies. Never enough milk to go around. And now... I think the dairyman could do something about this. Why not? Producing milk is their business, isn't it? That's just it. It is their business, and they work at it. Look. Up-to-date feeding practices. Modern equipment. Scientific methods. Herds that have been bred for high milk and butterfat production through many generations. You see, these dairymen are already producing to capacity. You can't squeeze more milk out of the high producing herds till more high producing heifers mature. But the low producing cows, we have millions of them idling along on poor or indifferent feed. Farm herds of five or six cows, or maybe a dozen or more. Cows kept as a sideline to general farming. Give them a treatment of the feed and scientific care the high-producing cows get, and their production will really go up. Not just a little, but 10, 15, maybe 20% or more. These are some of the cows that can give us more milk. Keep as many of them as feed and labor permit. If possible, grow more legume hay, pasturage, and grain to support a few more cows. The quantity and quality of feed crops can be increased by fertilizing. Nothing excels well-rotted barnyard manure for improving pasture and hay yields. Use it as far as it will go. Then supplement with commercial fertilizer and lime according to the recommendations of the county agent. Pasturage is the best feed for milk production and usually the cheapest. Many farmers pasture only that part of their land that is too poor to produce a crop, but it takes most of a cow's time and energy to satisfy her hunger on that kind of pasture, with little left for milk production. This dairy farmer puts good land into pasture, land that will grow good crops of corn, potatoes, or grain. He divides his pasture land into three or four plots. A top dressing of nitrogen and phosphate or lime to a couple of the plots in early spring brings them on about two weeks ahead of the others. When the grass is four to six inches high, he turns in the cows. It takes a week or 10 days to feed off the growth. Then they are turned into the next plot. By this rotation, each plot is pastured about one week out of four. During the other three weeks, it is making new growth. Milk production often drops in late summer and fall because pastures have matured and the cows are not getting enough to eat. This slump can be avoided by having good pasture from early spring to late fall. A field of Sudan grass, or millet, planted about the middle of June will provide supplemental feed when other pasture is gone. In the fall, the meadows are grazed. Heavy milking cows need some grain every day, even when they are on good pasture. In winter, hay and silage take the place of pasture. Grow and save an abundance of good roughage for feeding in both summer and winter. 
hay is cut before it matures and stored carefully as green in color and with as little loss of leaves as possible. This kind of hay has a higher protein content and is more palatable than late cut or weather damaged hay. If the weather is bad when the crop is ready to cut and shows no sign of clearing, cut it anyway and put it in the silo. Give the cows all of this good roughage they will eat. Cows eat more when given small amounts several times a day. In addition to the roughage, they need a grain mixture containing 12 to 15 percent protein. A mixture of 100 pounds of linseed, cottonseed, or soybean meal to 900 pounds of homegrown grain, corn, barley, wheat, and oats, when fed with good hay, will produce as much milk as a high-protein grain mix. Farmers agree that the more grain cows are fed, the more milk they will produce. But when grain is scarce and prices are high, feeding becomes a problem. This dairyman maintains high milk production in spite of a shortage of grain by selective feeding. In this herd of Holsteins, every cow is given all the roughage she can eat. If a cow produces less than 20 pounds of milk a day, she gets no grain. But for every two pounds above 20, she gets one pound of grain. Feeding according to production does not increase the grain bill. It just puts the grain where it will do the most good. Allow each cow a dry period of eight weeks, calving every 12 months. Feed them liberally during their dry period so they will be in good condition at calving time. For better herd replacements, breed to good bulls. Good proved sires offer the most promise, whether their service is available as individual herd sires or through cooperative breeding associations. With such an ancestry, this Jersey calf has a right to be good. Milk is the basic food for small calves. Exercise, sunshine, and pasture help to build good size and bone structure. A balanced ration running from legumes and grasses in the growing season to roughage and grain and succulent feeds when pasture is gone will produce well-grown heifers that can be bred to calve at two years. On the successful dairy farm, cleanliness is indeed next to godliness. A manure carrier makes the cleaning chore easier. Care is taken to make the best possible use of this important fertilizer. Stalls are swept and watered down, spick and span for their occupants. Rough treatment and high milk production never are found on the same farm. Cows have to be handled gently. Don't rush them in from pasture or in and out of the barn. Let them take their time. Keeping cows comfortable always pays good dividends. It isn't necessary to have an expensive barn. What they need is a shelter that will keep them dry and protect them from cold winds. Give them plenty of feed and ample bedding. Don't confine them in stanchions too long without exercise and see that they have plenty of water. In warm weather, cows need a lot of water and often in winter, they should have water at least twice a day, preferably with the chill taken off and right after they have eaten dry roughage. Have clean, healthy cows. Milk quickly using clean methods and clean utensils. When your herd responds, don't let carelessness defeat your gains. Have good quality milk and avoid waste. Strain and cool the milk in clean surroundings. Keep the milk cold until delivered. Wash equipment promptly and treat with chemical agents, boiling water, or live steam. Keep equipment dry and away from dust, dirt, and flies until the next milking. Marketing quality milk has always been good business for the dairy farmer. The demand for good dairy products is steadily increasing. 
follow the simple dairy practices outlined and we will have more milk. Yeah.